manifestation but to bring into manifestation so Ahab went up to eat and to drink and Elijah went up to the top of Carmel and he cast himself down upon the earth and put his face between his knees and said to his servant go up now look toward the sea and he went up and looked and said there is nothing now he was pressing supernatural buttons for a supernatural intervention and he said go again and he did it seven times and then and it came to pass at the seventh time that he said behold there ariseth a little cloud out of the sea like a man's hand <laughs> excuse me and he said go up say unto Ahab prepare the chariot and get it down that the rain stop thee not he was doing something supernatural and then the natural rain began to respond Okay, and it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heaven was black with clouds and wind and there was a great rain and he abroad and went to Jezreel and the hand of the Lord was on Elijah and he guided his loins and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel that is to say Ahab chariot which was the fastest chariot in Israel because he was the king had gone ahead to the headquarters of that town of that uh, nation while Elijah on foot was still uh, behind but when the hand of God came on him he had run the chariot of Ahab that hand is coming on someone today that hand is coming on someone today for a supernatural flight the louder your amen you are the first to hit it I say the hand of God is coming on someone today for a supernatural flight. If you are the person God is talking to, it will show in your response. The hand of God that makes people overtake their peers, their seniors, their colleagues is coming on someone. The louder you amen, you are the one God is talking to. If you believe that, shout amen. amen. In your business, you will overtake. Amen. In your career, you will overtake. Amen. In your profession, you will overtake. Amen. In the works of your hand, you will overtake. Amen. In your academics, you will overtake your peers. Amen. Anywhere you find yourself, you'll be number one. God is bringing somebody at the backside of life to the front line. You're hitting the news. You're hitting the front page news in the name of Jesus. Someone may say, Elijah just put his head between his knees. How can you prove that his prayer was praying? You know, the scripture is not cannot contradict itself. The scripture is complementary. Let's look at the scripture that shows us that Elijah was actually praying. James chapter 5 and verse 16. James chapter 5 and verse 16. We will read from Amplified Version. James chapter 5. The earnest, heartfelt, continued prayer of a righteous man, I'm reading Amplified, makes tremendous power available, dynamic in his working. King James, look at what King James says. He said, the faithful, fervent prayer of a righteous man are valid much. I'm reading James 5, 16b. Okay, verse 17. Elias, he was referring to Elijah, this phonetics of New Testament, this New Testament phonetics. Elias, that means Elijah, was a man subject to like passion as we are. That means Elijah was an ordinary human being like you. He goes, he went, he went to the toilet, he ate. If you are not human, you will be angry. <laughs> as a human being, 
being every trait of human being was in Elijah. There's nothing special about Elijah than you. It's like you, a human being. But there was something about him. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And he rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. Verse 18. And he prayed again. Where did he pray? That incident in the mount. He put his head between his legs. And he prayed again. And heaven gave rain. And the earth brought forth her fruit. So there are buttons to praise. And then you gather momentum. You gather power to fly. Glory to God. There can't be any advancement in life without an adjustment. You can't be doing the same thing you do and expect different results. No. No. A student that wants to have a good degree for university must read and study. He must prepare. So, what are these keys? What are these powerful buttons to press? You know, there are some of you that have some cars now that here you can start your car at the car park. How many of you, you know what I'm talking about? You can open your car, start it to warm me so that as you finish, just jump in. Am I right? Glory to God. Buttons. As soon as you do it, it answers automatically. Now, so what is the supernatural? You know, the supernatural means beyond the natural. Beyond the natural. You know, it's in the realm that transcends natural realm. The realm that transcends natural realm. So the first button to gather momentum or force to fly is word insight. Word insight button. I'm not, I'm not just saying the word of God. Word insight. Insight you have received from the word that addresses you and your situation personally. Insight from the word. Word insight button. May I start by saying that the, that the word of God gave birth to the supernatural world. The word of God is the mother of the supernatural. So without the word, there can't be any supernatural. Hello? The word of God is the foundation for supernatural operation in the world. The word of God. So without the word, there is no supernatural. Please take note. Without what? The word of God there is no supernatural. The mother and father of supernatural is the word. The word mother. Word inside father. Put it that way. Hello. Two dimension of the world gives birth to the supernatural. The word the mother, word inside the father. When the father, the husband meets with the wife, child is born. There's something the father gives the wife that makes the child come out. Is that clear? So now, the Holy Spirit breathing on the word brings rema, which is the specific word for a specific person in a specific circumstance or insight from the world. That's why the Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 130 the entrance of his word giveth light. It giveth understanding unto the simple. It is not the word that gives us it is the insight you receive from the word. The entrance of the word is not the food you have in the kitchen that nourishes your body but the food you cook and then you take it and then it goes through digestion absorption assimilation then energy is injected into your body so you must labor in the world to receive rema for that situation now listen to me there's been 
mistake that children of God do, do. When problem confront you, don't rush to pray. What? What would I do if I don't rush to pray? No. Don't rush to pray. Is that clear? Don't rush to pray. You have a challenge and then you want to go to the government house. You must book an appointment. Is that clear? As fast as you can. Now, there is button to praise to enter the presence of God. Now, you don't come to God crying. You must come to God with words. Hosea chapter 14 verse 2. You must come to God with words. And this word is talking about Rema. Take with you words and turn to the Lord. Say unto him, take away all iniquity and receive us graciously. So we shall render the calves of our lips. Don't rush to God when there is problem. Find the word of God that governs that problem. Then you take it to the Lord. This is what you say. Is that clear? That is why it must be a word-based child of God. Now hear me. Trying to solve the human problem with human effort is like someone who has a flat tire trying to jack up the car with his or her hand and then they are facing the tire. What will happen to you? You need a jack. Am I right? Eh? That will move the car up. Many people want to solve spiritual problem with human effort. You rush to pray, and then what are you telling God? Lord, oh, God, God, my, 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 my child, my child, my dad, oh, my husband, my husband. Hey, no, no, no. You saw the drama there. That lady pastor was calm with the word of God. You understand me? Calm, and then release the right. The sister that called the neighbor was calm. Let me call the pastor or the neighbor and then they address the situation. If they were panicking or start praying, they would have lost it. So if you don't want to lose your battle, don't rush to pray. Find out from God the word to use. Exactly. The word. And that is why you must load the word of God in your spirit. So that when situations like that come, Holy Ghost will now bring out the right word to address the situation. Paul said in Galatians chapter 2, he said, I went up with revelation. I went up by revelation. Galatians 2, 2. You go up by revelation. You change level by revelation. Are you understand what I'm saying? You don't just say when challenge confront you, maybe sickness or disease, it's well. It's well. What is well? What is well? After it's well, which scripture is backing is well? Hmm? Hello? Which scripture? There must be a scripture. You understand something? So find out that scripture, locate it. And that's why at times you need to call your spiritual leaders. To assist until you are you mature in the world to be able to handle. Praise God. There must be a right word to address the right situation. So the right word to address the situation rightly for the supernatural to answer to you. Is that clear? Now look at some things about the word of God. The word of God is spirit and life. John chapter 6, verse 63. The word of God is what? Spirit and and life. So, God's spirit is in his world. Someone had revelation where the Bible was opened before him by an angel and he saw a, a heart breathing inside the world. You see the human heart, the human heart breathing. And the angel said, that is the life of God. So, God's word carries God's life. He saw it in Revelation. Open the Bible and the heart. He saw a picture of the heart of a, like a human being's heart. Pretty. Boom, 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 boom. So, this word of God carries
carries his life. Some people have meditated on the scripture. And how does the word enter you? Is via meditation. Meditation. That's why you must seek quiet place. Meditate. Meditate. And meditation is work. It's not for lazy people. It's not for people that are given to distraction. Meditate. The word of God is a spiritual weapon. It's called the sword of the spirit. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 17. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God. So it's the sword of the spirit. That means you must locate the right sword to fight your battle. This is very important. This is very vital. Button number two. I'm just rushing because of time. Faith. The next button to gather momentum and fly supernaturally is the button of faith. Faith. faith is the foundation of Christian existence is the foundation of Christian profession faith is the substructure of our existence as Christians like The heart is important to human body to live. That's how faith is important to us to live. That's why I said the just shall live by his faith. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. The just shall live by his faith. You don't, you know, it's not, you know, you are just, you are righteous, but you need faith to reign in this world of evil. You need faith. Four places in the Bible, the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by his faith, not by the faith of a brother or a friend. By his faith. May God give you understanding. Nobody can drive a car with somebody else's headlamp. Can you? Even if it's your wife, I'm following you. Except you told the car that there's thick darkness. They say, it's my husband that's lamp. And then your car does no headlamp. The lamp has gone up, you know. You better park the car. So you need your own headlamp to pass, you know, drive in life. How powerful is faith? Faith is a spirit. Faith draws his strength from the word. Romans 10, 17. Now faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Faith cometh by what? Hearing and hearing by and how does fear come? Fear cometh by hearing and hearing the word of the world and the word of Satan. Hmm? Hey, somebody died of COVID and it's your colleague of yours and Satan tells you you're the next threat. You're the next. You're the next. Ah, the way people are dying now and fear comes. You are the next. How will you handle it if you don't have faith? That's when your faith comes alive. Hello? Lakushaka, Brakletotia, Ekabalandosia. You're fighting off that fear, that arrow. You know? You went to visit a friend. They told you, three people that have died. And all of them have the same. And then they said, say you're the next. You're the next. And fear. How do you handle the fear? It's with the word of God. You use faith to ward off that fear. 
That's why it's called the shield of faith. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 16. Shield of faith. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery dart of the enemy. Shh, fire into your heart. Fear. You can't sleep. You put on light. into your heart like artillery. And then ah, ah, what is happening now? What is happening now? No. You use the shield of faith. And then Holy Spirit will now pull the scripture from within. Shh. Isaiah 41 verse 10. Remember what I told you last time. Then if you have stored it in your spirit, you bring it up. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yeah, I will help thee. Yeah, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. See, all your enemies lie down, they are confused and helpless. They that strive with you shall perish. And then verse 13, I the Lord will hold your right hand. And imagine God holding your right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, for I will help you. And that fear is living. And then another word of God. Second Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. I have the spirit of power, love, sound mind. I bind the spirit of fear. Shh. Oh, have you settled death? Psalm 118, verse 17. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. You see? The scripture will be coming like this. And you will receive phone call. Oh boy, have you taken the day? People are dying now. I didn't say anything. No. anything you need to take but fear is there fear will neutralize what you took how powerful is faith faith makes impossibility possible mark 9 23 so you must Jesus said unto him if thou canst believe all things are possible to him Just like all things are possible with God, a child of God that has faith operates at the realm of God. So faith brings you at the realm God operates. Mark 10 27. And Jesus looking unto them said, With men it is impossible, but with God. But not with God, for with God, what? All things are possible. And the same way things are possible with God, if you have faith, all things are also possible with you. Mark 9.23 If you can believe, all things are possible to him that believe it. How do I build faith? Go to the world. Go to the labor room of the world. Labor in the world. Labor. 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 That's why in Bible school, most of my, some of my questions, I'll use scriptures. Tell me where this is in the scripture and I will locate your problem. Someone says, ah, this challenge, this person, this person, this is a problem. Word is not there. When I see you, you don't, some simple, simple scripture is not supposed to be with you. You fail it. Ah, this is the problem. Faith is a compulsory cause. Compulsory button you must press. After the word. Because of time, number three. Button. Number three button is praise and prayer. Two buttons in one. 
praise and prayer. Praise and prayer. You have, lo you have located the word governing that situation, word inside. You have pressed the button of faith. The next button to channel your faith is what? Praise and prayer. In battle, if you have what is called warhead, all right? The, the warhead is the main bomb, but there's something that carries the warhead to launch it. Eh? The aeroplane and the things that carry the bomb and release it. Praise and pray. Praise and pray. Enter his presence singing. Psalms 100 verse 2. Enter his presence singing. The presence of the supernatural God. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence singing. So you wake up with bad dream. Wake up with bad news. The first thing is not to pray. Start entering his presence. Amen, amen. Blessings and glory. Shakaba, letosha. Wisdom, thanksgiving. Ah, no, no. Power of man. No matter how bad that dream is. Does that bind you? No, 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 no. Enter force. Collect your. They say, Thief, enter house. What do you do? You look for where your ammunition is. Is it not true? And carry it. Huh? Enter force. And as you are singing, the presence of God is coming down. It's coming down. Glory to God. And then Psalm 23, 22, verse 3. For thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the presence of Israel. Is, I mean, Psalm 22, verse 3. God inhabits the praises of his people. Psalm 22 and verse 3. He inhabits. That means he is enthroned in the praise of his people. I remember Paul and Silas. The praise and the prayer. And God came down. There was earthquake. Their chains loose. The doors of the prisons opened. They were free. So you press the button of praise and prayer. How important is praise? We are created to give him pleasure of praising him. That's why we are created. Isaiah 43 verse 21. So, and then uh, first Peter chapter 2 verse 9. This will have I formed for myself. They shall show forth my praise. So the purpose of your create, being created must be acknowledged and engage. Show that you are useful to God. Show that you are a jewel of God. Give him what he loves. He loves praise. Don't bother him with your problem yet. Give him what he loves. Then you introduce what you are missing. I'm sorry. He will now supply. When you give him what he deserves, he will give you what you desire. When you give him what he deserves, which is praise, he will not give you what you desire. Is that clear? Very, very important. Say, let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth heal thy increase. Psalm 67, verse 5, down to verse 7. Let the people praise thee. Let all the people praise thee. Verse 6, the same thing. Then shall the earth heal their increase. God, even our God, shall bless us. And all the ends of the earth shall fear. Praise. Praise. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. Psalm 34 verse 1. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise. When you live in praise, you live in God. Hello? When you live in praise, you live in God. When you are a praise addict, you'll be carrying the presence of God everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. Glory to God. Is someone understand what I'm saying? 
during the midnight praise and worship and prayer, just bring the sick, expose the sick. Even if the sick cannot raise, expose the sick and praise is going on. When he comes to take his sacrifice, he will clear the devil off. You don't even need to tell him. As soon. He tells you what you have put together. Glory to God. Praise is very, very vital. Praise is very potent. Praise is very potent. Your prayer will be powerless without praise. That's why I put it together, praise and prayer. Now look at how potent praise is. David praised God in a day seven times. He goes to the house of God to praise him seven times. Psalm 119 verse 164. Seven times in a day. Seven times a day do I praise thee because of thy righteous judgment. What does that word righteous judgment mean? When you praise him, God judges. He dispenses justice. What it means is that he releases vengeance on your enemies, on the camp of your enemies. And then for you, he gives you justice of healing, if that is what you need. Breakthrough, if that is what you need. Miracle, if that is what you need. Glory to God. Then David prayed, prayed three times a day, but he prays seven times. That shows that praise is superior. All of them are important. What is prayer? Prayer is a two-way communication between you and God. What is prayer? In prayer, we appeal to God for his help. In prayer, we are appealing to the supernatural God for supernatural help. Hebrew chapter 4 verse 16. In prayer, we are coming to the throne of God, which is called the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. When Zechariah was crying, grace, grace, you know what that means? He was crying, supernatural help, divine help, divine help, divine help. So in prayer, we cry for divine help. And that help will show up in your life. You praise him, then you go to pray. The prayer flies. That's the next button. That's the third button. Am I right? Very vital. Now look at James chapter 5 again. It said the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availed much. Amplify said makes tremendous power available. Dynamic in his working. A prayerful person who is word based is in control of circumstances of life. Is in charge. Is on top of the situation. Prayerlessness makes you powerless, makes you vulnerable. A prayerful child of God is a powerful child of God, is in control of issues of life. A prayerful church is on top. So watch and pray. Let's say no enter into temptation. What did Jesus say about prayer? He said we should not faint in prayer. Luke chapter 18 verse 1. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. What did the epistle or Paul says about prayer. They say pray without ceasing. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17. Pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. What did Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18 says? Praying always. Praying always. With all prayer and supplication in the spirit. That brings me to another dimension of prayer. The way to make prayer simple you have located the word, you are loading the word of God into your spirit, you have faith, is to pray in tongues. Praying in tongues makes prayer sweet and simple. You are, you are depending on the ministry of the Holy Ghost to pray through. Please pray a lot in the spirit. One of my secrets is praying in the spirit. Messages I receive is through praying in the spirit. I will now know the mind of God. 
I may not write my message until the last night, the last time, the last day. But throughout the week, it may be cooking. Lakosha, Prakalatosia, Ekakatoma, Braliando, Shalato, Sakraba, Eklota, Light come. I'll pick. So in my prayer hour, I have pen, I have something to write. And I will not write it. You will just bring some ingredients. I write it. Egusi, grind it. I put it down. Klakosha, Mako Braklatosia. If it's all cross soup, it will write. Women know what I'm talking about. You will not put the whole thing together. Are you understanding me? And if you don't pray well, you may serve the congregation tilapia fish when they should have big fish. A small, small one. Hmm? <laughs> they don't know how to cook. They are smiling. You know what I mean? There's no there's big fish. There's no small. Pray. Gather the material. Are you understanding me? Now, when you pray in tongues, see what happened to you. Your spirit is charged. Your mind is charged. Your body is charged. In 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 4, it says, He that prayed in an unknown tongue, it defied himself. That's the Greek word for the word charge. As someone charging his battery. So he that did pray in tongues charges himself. Your mental faculty is charged. Your mind is charged. Your brain is charged, I mean. Your physical body is charged. Your spirit man is charged. Kakatosha, Praklatosia, Ekakata, Lekoshanda, Prakotama, Eriato, Briar. Five minutes is pass. Ten minutes is pass. Fifteen minutes is pass. 20 minutes. Please start from today. You can stop at 5 minutes. That's your level. But as you keep doing it, you move to 10 minutes. You move to 15 minutes. You move to 30 minutes. Even 1 hour. And then, when you pray in tongues, your spirit will be sensitive to hear the voice of God. There are some children of God that don't hear the voice of God. I don't mean audible. He may choose to speak to you audibly, but in your spirit, you pick his word. Your spirit very important. Key number four. Am I right? Because of time. And then look at First Corinthians chapter 14 verse 2. When you are praying in tongues, you are speaking the language of God, one on one with him, or the language of angels. Are you understanding me? For instance, you want to travel. You know, and it's a journey done that. Start praying ahead of the journey. Some days. And then, when you pray in tongues, at times you dispatch angels. On assignments, Kashoka here. He he talk he talk to the, uh, you know, the escort commander among your angelic team. I'm traveling so and so day to Lagos. Ensure the plane I will enter is okay. If it's not okay, ground it. Lakosha, Brakletosia, Tabalande, Klabasa. There is going to be a robbery attack against this family. Clear it. If they need to die, let them die. Eh? Before the strike. Kushanda, Makota, Brackley, Riando, Sakata, Ekaka, Braleka, Lokataria, Eklosha, Brackla. He will be mentioning names of your relation and be telling the angels what to do by the Holy Spirit. Because he that speaketh in unknown tongues speaketh not unto man. But unto God, how be it in the spirit he speaketh mysteries. First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 2. Key number four, button number four is fasting. Fasting. Button number four, fasting. You have praised, you have prayed. The challenge seems to be there. Switch in or switch on to the weapon of fasting. When you combine fasting to prayer, heaven will say it's a serious matter. Why is my daughter not eating? Why is my son not eating? This is serious. And the Bible says it will answer you speedily. For, I mean, Isaiah chapter 58, verse 6. Is it not the fasting? Fast I have chosen.
to lose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and that ye let the oppressed go free, and that ye break every yoke. And then he moved to verse 8. He said, fast, uh, easy worship, verse 8. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thy health shall spring forth speedily. So fasting can release health, divine health into you. And thy righteousness shall go before thee, the glory of the Lord shall be thy real reward. And then, verse 9, Then shall thou call, and the Lord shall answer. Thou shall cry, and he shall say, Here am I, thy speedy answer. We pray. So, fasting releases, I mean, you know, expedite answers to prayers. Fasting, expedite answers to prayers. Your spiritual muscle is developed through fasting when you combine it with studying the word and meditating on the word. Okay? Now look at verse 14. Flight. Flight. You change the level through fasting. Then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth. Woo! And feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken in the first time as a teenager I was being trained in fasting I had a vision first time I saw myself in a mountain topmost mountain and there was fire all around me and I was seeing black black creatures in that fire that was the time I received fire baptism all those demonic attacks and attachment burnt so when I let that before this church will start a mountain and fire. When I say man, when I hear mountain, I say that man had revelation. Well, well, there's mountain and fire actually. I've seen it. Are you understand anything? Do you understand what I'm talking? So you ride. One of the fasting, I was in a airplane, and that was the first time I saw Jesus appeared. Wonderful. Jesus is handsome. Hand on. He didn't talk to me in that plane. I was in the plane. He was the other side. Never talked. And there was this peace. First time I saw Jesus. You don't need to seek to see Jesus real fasting. I didn't ask for it. He just, you know, is the the word of God is Jesus Himself. Don't go and fast. Let me see Jesus as Papa saw. I didn't tell, I didn't send you. Hello. Praise the Lord. You are seeing Jesus every day. Is the, the word of God is Jesus made? Is the word of God. Praise God. There's nothing special about seeing Jesus. So don't look at me, Wonka. Every one of us are important before him. And he loves us equally. But fasting will make you to ride upon the high places of the earth and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob, with thy father. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. You press the button of fasting. And then you change the level. Because of time. Button number five. Giving. Giving. A seed can meet all needs. Precious seed can bring you out of terminal disease. Try medication. Try medication. Shh. Seed. Lay it on the altar. How powerful is your giving? Number one, your giving is not a donation to the church. Your giving does not help the church or the pastor. Your giving helps you. My giving does not help the church. My giving helps me. My giving appeals to supernatural help for assistance. In your giving, you are appealing to supernatural help. That's why no altar experience can be complete without a sacrifice on the altar. Hello. What you see devil do with people is carbon copy, I mean no counterfeit. There must be something on the altar for the supernatural to work. That is why he said, don't appear before God empty. Deuteronomy chapter 16 verse 16c 
never appear to God empty. It's an insult. You must find something to give. Three times in a year shall all thy male appear before the Lord. Now move on to verse C. C. And they shall not appear before the Lord empty. They shall not appear before the Lord empty. Your worship is not complete without a seed of honor. Your offering is honor to God. And you do it honorably. That is why you don't give trash as offering. That would be insulting God. Offering is very powerful. If not, how come Jesus was in the temple? All he was busy looking to know the one that gave the highest. He was watching. They were dropping and dropping and dropping. Until everybody came and he told the disciples, see this? Poor widow, he has given all of at with all. I mean, has given all of them. You know, you see some people, some you know, people that God has blessed today. When they want to mess up, they say, "This is my widow's mind." There's nothing like widow's mind. That man, woman's widow's mind was well, everything she had. He said she has given all her earnings. That means that she's going home nothing. But he said, "All that have given out of their substance." Very important. Your giving makes the altar to speak on your behalf. Your giving. What, how powerful is your giving? Your giving is warfare. So if you are not a tighter, you are not a giver, you are not a good seed sower, you are limiting the hand of the supernatural in your life. How do I give? You give according to God's blessings in your life. Deuteronomy chapter 16 and verse 17. You give according to his blessing in your life. Every man shall give as he is able. God will not ask you to give what you have not given. He can't ask Isaac from you when he has not first given you Isaac. Hello. Before you ask Abraham to give him Isaac, he has already provided Isaac. God is not a taskmaster. God will never ask you to go and borrow and give. That is not God. You give according as, I mean, as he is able. Every man shall give as he is able. According to the blessing of the Lord thy God, which he had given thee. Giving can bring you out of lack, out of sickness, out of challenges. You can use your giving and fight your enemies. Do you know that? You can use your giving and fight. Your giving fight battles for you. Rise to your feet. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. These five keys will make you command the supernatural at will. Hello. Your giving, another point. Is a proof of your love for God or for whoever you're giving. Hello. And in your supernatural abundance of prosperity flights, your prophet sent to you has a role to play. That my son was quoting the scripture and he was quoting upside down. I call it he said, Thou shalt believe the Lord thy God, and ye shall be established. But if you want to prosper, believe his prophet. Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20, C. Believe the Lord thy God, and ye shall be established. So shall ye be established. Believe his prophets. They are all of them. Not one. Prophets. The one sent to you, the one sent to the other person. So shall ye prosper. <laughs> Glory to God. You must honor them. This one says, ah, give to tap. No, if your heart is not with them, no matter what you give, you won't tap. You must honor them on a consistent basis for them to speak into your life. Titan is okay. I pay tight like you do. My tight has left the level of 10% in most cases. But the seed to my prophet 
or pronounces the blessing. Hebrews 7 7. Without contradiction, the less is blessed of the better. Who is blessing you? <laughs> Who is blessing you? What I receive does not bless me. It's what I give that blesses me. Hello. So as long as I give, I'll be blessed. No matter who says he gives or he doesn't give. This is very important. If any pastor depends on what his congregation gives to prosper, he will be you'll be behind is what you give what I give that prosper. because God can go beyond the congregation God can go beyond where you walk God can go beyond what you do and bring blessings to you in many ways how many of you know that because it's a supernatural God it's I will open the windows of heaven and windows of heaven is opening if you open this from heaven it can the channel can come from America, can come from uh, China, can come from uh, Lagos, can come from Abuja, and locate you where you are. Is someone understand what I'm saying? Prophetic blessing comes through honor. That any time you give, like we're going to give God offering, now it's honor. We're showing God honor and love. You must do it with that sense, so that you don't give God trash. You give the kind of offering and say, Lord, I'm giving this as because I love you. Glory to God. And then you see God fight your financial battle. Fight your financial battle. Especially if your money is tied down somewhere. You, you release offering that will, that will cause heaven to fight your battle. Especially if your harvest is delayed. Release offering. When Abraham Lay down Isaac. Aye. He went to rest. Till tomorrow. Even his descendants. Have you seen the economy of Israel? They say economy of Israel had challenge. No. No. Praise God. Don't only tight your tight, tight your company. Tight the tight of your company. Now listen. Some people don't trust God. They trust financial institution over God. Are you know what I'm saying? Give tight. Say no. For we think I'm not smart. And then you take it where heaven is not protecting it. Please don't get me wrong. Saving is very important. Investment is very important. Very, very important. But the greatest investment is kingdom investment. Do you understand me? What you give in the hand of God, the earth. The, the rot, the canker worm that eats the thieves that steal things on this earth will not will not attack it. Never you play with your giving. Starting from your tithe, your first fruit, your offering, and then seed to honor those you call your father. Somebody can be your pastor, but not your father. It depends on how you so relationship. Fathers bless. A son carries what the father has without prayer. Through of us, the DNA is natural. Honor. 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 He said they deserve trouble. First Timothy chapter 5, verse 17 and 18. They deserve double honor. Double honor. They that minister to you. This is how to fly. 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 First Timothy chapter 5, verse 17 and 18. So now, let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor. Especially they who labor in the world. Let them be counted worthy. Then mention verse 18. You see, uh, for it is written, 
For the scripture said, Thou shalt not muzzle the ox that threaded out the corn, and the laborer is worthy of his wages. So you are paying there. They won't ask you. But it's your duty to honor, not to help them to help yourself. Lift your hands up. Say, Lord, help me. Give me understanding. Give me understanding. Give me understanding. Honor. Beget honor. Believe the Lord thy God, and ye shall be established. Believe his prophets sent to you, you shall prosper. Let no month pass without your prophet speaking to your life. Honor, honor. By your honor, be blessed. Be blessed. But before you honor your prophet, you must put God first. You must honor God first. Don't give man anything you have not first given God. God is number one. Lift your hands up. Now receive grace. Receive grace. Receive grace. These five buttons. Receive grace too. Press it for supernatural turnaround at will. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now place your hand wherever you are. Seek. Don't go. If I were you, I won't go. No matter how hurry you are, you're going. Place your hand where you need healing. And believe God. Now in the name of Jesus Christ. You spirit of infirmities, I charge you. Come out of their bodies. Now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I declare you healed. I declare you set free. The Egyptians you see today, you shall see them no more. I hear in my spirit, the Egyptians you see, that means that sickness you see today is over forever. It's over forever. It's over forever. It's over forever. It is done. Now thank him and do what you couldn't do. Bend if you couldn't bend. From here and until you reach home, you will notice the symptoms are gone. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. Engage with me. Midnight praise and prayer warfare. It's working like no man business. People send prayer points. The other day, a man from India. Now, you know what God laid in my heart? This is something my self and family have been practicing and some sons and daughters here for years. We are just introducing it now for the public to be blessed. We are in 30 minutes for now. Better soon move to one hour. We won't pass, may not pass one hour because Jesus said, watch and pray with me for one hour. Please, get data. Hello. Get phones that are friendly to stuff like that. And hook up. What you gain from that can put millions in your hand. To get to the top, you must be a night person. Do you understand me? When the enemy is sowing tasks, trying to hinder people, hinder destinies, you are awake to give God praise. Like David in the Bible. David was so rich that when God said, don't build me a house, he gave and gave and gave out of his substance. He want to touch wealth. He want to touch breakthrough in your career, anything. Join me in midnight praise and prayer warfare. 12.50 p.m. Okay, from Mondays to Fridays for now and see what God will do in your life. Do it consistently and see the record. Just look back and say, wow. Tell your friends about it. Share it. Hook up. Don't say I don't have data of what. You chat, 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 and chat away 
your, your destiny and then common data data eh, to say no and don't appear as number share make comments thank you Jesus amen this is my time of victory do you know as you're doing that you're releasing your faith eh? see your Monday not number your face hmm? your name hello bye data whatever you call it with us Instagram or Facebook for now hmm? that's I'm not in Facebook be there because of what God is doing and after the midnight don't visit there again and at midnight come back that's how <laughs> and you see God bless you are you understanding me you will see the hand of God you will see healing you will see deliverance because wherever you are joining me you're creating you're releasing atmosphere of heaven in that place and you've seen miracles, signs, and wonders. Testimonies occurring. You are blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus. You may be seated. For those who have not received Jesus as their Lord and Savior. You are in this meeting today. And you know and know that you are not sure. You make heaven. You can be sure now. There is something that will help you to be sure. Wherever you are, just lift your right hand up and you pray. You want to give your life to Jesus? Lift your right hand up. God bless you. Anybody? Lift your right hand like this. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Lift your right hand. And with online worshippers, say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I give you my heart today. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Forgive me all my sins and write my name in the book of life. Thank you for saving me. Amen. Now, stand up to your feet. At your, to your feet. And please come with what you came to church to the eyes here. Church officers will attend to you. For online worshippers who made their prayers, follow the guide. I'll be glad to follow you up through your details. You are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory to God. If you are blessed, give me a wave offering as you sit down. Oh, you're already seated.
the Lord now is thanksgiving youth alive grand finale thanksgiving it's for every one of us so sit down package your thanksgiving offering on behalf of the youth keeping them keeping us alive because I'm a youth I don't know about you hello the Bible says a child shall die at hundred you have not seen it in the Bible Isaiah 65. Bring it. Easy worship. Look through the place from verse 20 or there. I say, child shall die at 100. So, if you're not up to 100, you're still a youth. There shall be no more things an infant of days, nor an old man that had not filled his days. For the child shall die an 100 years old. But the sinners being 100 years old shall be accursed. So, that's why I said I'm a youth. Praise God. And that's why I was here in the youth program. For two days. Or two nights. Praise God. Package your Thanksgiving offering, all youth. All others. What shall we render unto God for all his benefit towards us as youth and towards every one of us? And their representative and everybody will dance unto God. The more you dance, the more long life, the more useful long life he will give you. Now lift your offerings up, everyone, and pronounce and release your faith for blessing. Lord, we thank you for this year Youth and Life Convention. We return to give you thanks this Sunday. We present our seed unto you, thanksgiving seed. May they be pleasing and acceptable in their sight. And look down from heaven and bless every one of us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, youth. <laughs>
towards youth representatives. Lord, take all the glory for our youth this year. Thank you, Lord. We appreciate you for keeping them, keeping all of us alive. Thank you for your hand of favor upon us. And now, O oh Lord, receive our thanksgiving offering from us. May they be pleasing and acceptable in thy sight. And look down from heaven and bless every one of our youth here. And every one of us here. Take all the glory. We give you praise and glory. In Jesus' name. Momentum. Put your hands together for Jesus. We shall have brief workers meeting after this program. To be very brief. Very, very brief. Here. Praise God. Let me seize this opportunity and do a few things so that I will just come and close. May we have the handbills now. All the flyers. Good news. Our yearly special Independence Day anointing service is this week. 1st October special anointing service on Friday, 1st October, 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Come with your bottles of anointing oil. Or if you couldn't get as soon as you get here, go to the Wisdom Center. Get your own. That's the bookshop here. For October, anointing service is loaded. You must come with someone. Remember, it's not a non-working day. It's, independent. it's a holiday. 7 a.m. What time? What day? Friday. Come with your invitees. And next Sunday service is deliverance service. Deliverance from covenant and causes. Deliverance from what? Covenant and causes. And release of freedom to God's people. So bring anyone suffering from generational causes, ancestral covenants, they'll be free. And also you, come and be blessed. You must come with someone. Remember operation, come and see is on. Can I have the hand base? Let's rise to our feet now. Leave the hand base up. Um, we have the hand base for that and then another good news is that our October power night is next week. Clap for Jesus. Friday the 8th of October is here. Friday 1st Independence Day special and service and then Friday the 8th October power night and the big 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 good news is coming. You want to hear? Our worldwide power night is December 17th. It shall be loaded with heavy activities. Several artists will display. Glory to God. And above all, healing miracle signs are wonder. Blind eyes shall open, deaf ears shall open, dumb shall speak, lame shall walk. Cancer destroyed, terminable disease crushed all over the world to shake. Praise God. So get up, up to five flyers minimum. If you have supermarket, restaurant, get more and ensure they are given out. Don't go and put it in your car's wallet and forget it. You know? Don't do that. God will not be happy. It costs money to have this. We are a church on a flight. You see, the program is ending now. We are having another program coming up to continue so that God will continue continually bless us. Lift them up and speak the word. Say, Father, anoint these flyers in my hand and direct my footsteps to the right people for 
1st October anointing service power night Father thank you for anointing these flyers thank you for directing our footsteps to the right people and compelling them to come in Jesus name amen please do God favor sorry do yourself favor and allow God to bless you by giving out these handbills say after me Dominion Cathedral Live Gate Power Ministries too small for the crowd coming say it Dominion Cathedral Live Gate Power Ministries too small for the multitudes coming you didn't hear what they said say it a minute shout it Dominion Cathedral Live Gate Power Ministries too small for the multitudes coming now say it now give me Mark eleven twenty three. you shall have whatever you say you shall have whatever say Dominion Cathedral Live Gate Power Ministries here and all our branches too small for the multitudes coming they are coming they are coming say they are coming they are rushing in like floor in the mighty name of Jesus say it shall come to pass on the last day that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established on the top of the mountain Micah chapter 4 and then and the nation and said, Micah said and people shall flow into it Isaiah said nation shall flow into it they all mean the same thing step out and let God use you operation come and cease on go and tell them to come now tomorrow morning 6 a.m. It's wisdom to wake up early. Dress for work. You come here. People come to pray. Pray through. Pray through. Carry their destiny. Whoosh. Pray through. 6 a.m. 7 we are gone. And then that Monday, all ministers, all church officers, International Kingdom Exploit Ministers Forum, 10 a.m. And in this auditorium, you're invited. Church workers are also welcome. 10 a.m. On Monday, after the 6 a.m. program. And then on Tuesday, healing and liberation service. 10 a.m. also. Be blessed. Midweek service, come, he had the testimony on communion. As communion was served, that my son, the whole thing says. You don't know what you miss by not coming. Midweek service, hear the word and eat the flesh and the blood of Jesus which is the best medicine in the whole world the best vaccine and whatever in the whole world whatever can attack Jesus can't attack you as you partake of his flesh and blood be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus in case you are watching with us for the first time would you please come with what you came to church with to the aisle here all first timers please move to the aisle the aisle is here church officers will attend to you God bless you God bless you yes sir God bless you. Your first time, am I right? Yes. Move this way. Yes. And you can saw when you are coming in. Oh, yes. Cla keep clapping for them. This is Dominion Cathedral, Live Gate Power Ministries, Home of Miracles and Dominion. This way, this way. Keep clapping for them. God bless you. God bless you. Our welcome team and hospitality, please. Do the needful. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Praise God. We we'll hear the information and then we close. Or we'll come. Mama will come and close us, please. All workers here, immediately after this benediction, after the blessing.